You're watching Harrison by the Stream, and this week we're going to be talking about BoJack Horseman Season 2. Now, uh, if you haven't seen the first season, I highly suggest it. In fact, I did a whole little review of it right here. Uh, and here we are, talking about everybody's favourite anthropomorphic horse, BoJack Horseman. Now, Season 2 starts off very differently compared to the first season. Obviously, BoJack has finally started to look at his life. He's started to see what he wants to achieve as an actor, as a horseman. Uh, and he finds himself in this weird quandary. He finds himself, you know, not being able to find happiness, essentially, and I think that that's a very large part about, uh, of what the whole series is about, necessarily, is finding that bliss, finding that happiness, and the first episode that we have right off the back is, is quite good, it's called Brand New Couch, and this is where, sort of, Bojack looks at, sort of, the Secretariat movie as this huge challenge, and he starts, sort of, listening to motivational tapes, and he starts to try and put his life together, and I love that the interaction between him and Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter, it's really, sort of, it almost feels like it's building up to something even from the first episode in the second season. My initial sort of issues with the first season is that every kind of story feels a little bit disjointed until the last three or four episodes where it kind of comes together. And I think that right off the back, season two, episode one, it starts off really, really strong. We actually start to see Mr. Peanut Butter slowly almost break down as it goes along. Uh, obviously, the marriage to Diane is not necessarily taking its toll in the foreground of the show, but definitely in the background. Uh, and then we sort of look at uh, sort of how the show progresses in the second season, and we see, you know, uh, what Todd is up to, and obviously the new characters that come into play, uh, such as Wanda Pierce, who's played by the fantastic Lisa Kudrow, uh, and obviously uh, Todd kind of bouncing from one project to the next in the first season we kind of had that with Mr. Peanut Butter and the kind of ventures that we come up with and in the second season uh, obviously he starts off with his own version of Disneyland which just is chaotic to say the least and uh, later on in the series you, you have the whole uh, improv thing uh, which is kind of meant to obviously be a metaphor for Scientology, uh, but I, I think that there's uh, there's enough sort of humor there to sort of show what uh, the issues that I, I think either Raphael, Bob Waxberg, or the writers have with improv. I think that um, obviously the sort of the the heart of the show, the sort of the sad points in the series that I, I really enjoyed and that kind of grounded Bojack as a character as the show went on. Um, I definitely felt more so. Uh, in the season, they actually, uh, a lot of it, they they sort of play with uh, Bojack's history a little bit more. You start to see what the former stars of Horse and Around are up to. Uh, obviously, there's Herb Kazaz's funeral and uh, Princess Carolyn sort of dealing with that sort of situation. And uh, there's a lot of stuff that they teased in the first season that I'm really glad that they they really sort of like continued with, with, with as the story progressed. It wasn't just like, oh, we're just kind of throwing this relationship in here because it's kind of funny or it kind of shows the character and what they want and what they desire. They actually sort of adapted and added onto it, such as um, Princess Carolyn's, uh, not necessarily boss, but sort of cohort at her agency. Uh, they go into a deal together and that all falls apart and stuff like that. I also have to praise the writers uh, of the show for basically sort of playing with the format. I know that a lot of people sort of uh, have this idea that like, oh, Netflix, you know, they're doing their all, you know, crazy, wacky stuff, but I think... The stuff that we've seen so far, uh, definitely from the comedy side, is they kind of just keep like, oh, they have a longer running time, that's great, and stuff like that. Um, but there's sort of like little things such as the, uh, I think it's the fourth episode, uh, after the party, where they sort of have uh, the different characters sort of playing out, uh, sort of a fight that Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter have together. And I, I think that that's, that's where I want to see sort of Bojack sort of going ahead, is that they, they often play with their own format. I think the the 11th episode of the first season, um, they have that 12-minute that sequence where they're all sort of taking drugs, and they, they sort of, although that was a little bit uh, cliche to some degree, they go into Bojack's psyche and actually see what his life could have been like if, if, if he didn't sort of follow this celebrity comedian path. And I, I think that they're... While there isn't really an episode like that uh, in this series, I think the fact that they keep the show more grounded um, and they sort of play on Bojack's weaknesses a lot more uh, sort of really brings out the character uh, rather than sort of like, oh, we're just kind of doing this uh, sort of wacky thing for the sake of being wacky. I think that they, the fact that they play with structure and they play with characters, but it keeps within the sort of uh, way we sort of tell stories in, in, in TV and the way that sort of the characters tell stories is kind of nice. Uh, I, I think that um, there's a few things that I'm liking about the second season, uh, such as the chickens episode kind of feels like it comes out of nowhere. It almost feels like a season one episode. I think that the first few episodes of the first season of Bojack Horseman are, they're really good, I really like them and stuff, but I, I think that there is uh, something to be said about how they set up the show. They actually really try to make it a 
a very sort of typical animated adult sitcom, and I think that that's great. Obviously, got to bring in that audience, but I think that the heart of the show and where it becomes really enjoyable is with these characters interacting with one another. That these these people who are broken, these characters who are trying to piece themselves together, uh, and uh, obviously that that how that sort of comes out. I, I think that the the show that. Uh, Wanda Pierce's character, Lisa Kudrow, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, she becomes a producer for a TV show uh, production company, uh, and that sort of thing, how that plays out is amazing. And it's the episode Let's Find Out is probably one of the best animated like episodes I've seen in a long time, like since uh, probably Futurama's final season. I, I think it's so, so strong how it, it brings all these pieces together, and not to mention Escape from LA, which is just astounding. The last two episodes of the second season are a must watch. Like, to see how Bojack is such a self-saboteur in his life is astounding to see. To, to watch that slowly turn and take its sort of toll is amazing. And uh, I, I really look forward to the third season. I, I think that where the writers, where the voice actors, where everybody is right now, I, I think it's really, really strong. They've left so many pieces not necessarily dangling for the third season to start off with, but I think that there is a lot that, that obviously can be explored in the show. I think there is so much room there, uh, and I really, really look forward to it. So overall, I think BoJack Horseman Season 2 is a very worthy uh, sort of successor to the first season. There's a lot that I really, really love about the show. I think that the only few negative points, I think that like Diane's character just doesn't really grow as much in the second season. I think that, that her arc sort of becoming more of a journalist and sort of realizing that's not going to work out for her is, it ties into the sort of theme of the show about knowing your limitations and who you are and finding out who you are. But I, I think that there's, there's a lot there that they could have explored, but they didn't. And, I, and who knows, maybe third season we kind of see more of that. I, I kind of think that their resolution between her and Mr. Peanut Butter is a little bit too rom-com, a little bit too Hollywood. I I don't know why. I, I just I, This is definitely a personal thing. I expected it to be darker. I expected there to be a fight, like on a next level above, like after the party episode. Um, but I think overall, it's amazing. I think the addition of Kudrow's character really sort of uh, highlights how broken Bojack is and how afraid he is of love and of acceptance of being in a relationship or sort of being comfortable in a relationship. And I, I, I think that's something that we can all identify with to some degree. Bojack Horseman Season 2 is obviously on Netflix. You can watch it right now. Season 3 has been announced. It's going to come in 2016. And I look forward to it so much. I really want to thank... Uh, everybody who's sort of watched the review, the first review was astounding. I can't believe those people who, who watched it. I can't believe anybody really watches any of this stuff, to be honest. Um, but I want to thank you so much for, for watching the show. I have been very busy and very sick for the last month. Uh, I was writing and performing in a friend show. Uh, I had to sort of, uh, wrap up some things with the podcast that I was doing uh, and I started a new job so that's why these episodes have been a little bit late um, but no thank you for watching thank you for subscribing uh, do subscribe below uh, and I want to thank you again for being some of the best fans from Harrison the fan for watching Harrison by the stream have an awesome day and keep watching on such a nice day I don't mind if I may take the opportunity to share what I got to say I think it's really weird that uh, it almost feels like I only have one shirt because I definitely film in one shirt and then edit in that same shirt. <laughs>